My name is Dr. Jessica Leatherwood, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Animal Science at Texas A&M University. I'm a second generation Aggie. My parents were both raised in town. They both thought that horses were going to be a phase for me, but they ended up buying me my first American Quarter Horse when I was seven years old. Mad Mike was his name. It, uh, ended up giving him to me on Christmas morning with a beautiful red bow. And so I ended up falling immediately in love with horses from that point on and was able to continue to nurture and develop my interest in horses as I went on through junior high and into high school. And I think it's really in high school where I found that I enjoyed competing on horses, I predominantly rode all around horses, and then I also had an interest in horse judging as well. And as I was finishing up my high school, um, I actually ended up applying for the AQHA Foundation Scholarship, which I was very fortunate to have actually received. And I knew from that point on that my dream of attending Texas A&M could really be a reality. And I remember the day that I actually had received the Foundation Scholarship because it was the only scholarship that I had received that when you actually open the award, there was confetti all in the mailing. And it was just absolutely a wonderful experience and very memorable experience for me. So kind of continuing on in the animal science department, I was able to get involved in a lot of undergraduate research experiences. And one experience in particular was working for Dr. Josie Coverdale. And through those experiences with Dr. Coverdale, I actually decided that I wanted to continue on and pursue a Master of Science degree with Dr. Coverdale in equine nutrition. And so it was really through that experience that I began to really develop and begin my interest in research and improving performance longevity of young quarter horses. And so as I was finishing up my master's, I decided, well, I'm definitely an Aggie, I bleed maroon, so why don't we just stay on for a PhD? So at that point in time, I ended up convincing Dr. Coverdale to keep me on and continue to pursue a PhD. And as we were planning out my projects for my PhD, that's uh, where we were able to begin looking at the Young Investigator Award that the AQHA Foundation has. We were able to take a lot of pilot research that we had done and really take it to the next level so that we could really begin to see some potential application in providing a very effective means to evaluate uh, joint health in young performance horses. So it was, once again, it was a, an excellent opportunity to be able to work with the American Quarter Horse Association and continue to really come full circle and fulfill that dream of not only being able to enter into a college that I absolutely had dreamed of being able to get accepted into, continuing on through my master's and PhD, and then using that funding from the AQHA Foundation to provide that initial footprint that I needed to continue to develop my research. And that research program is still something that I'm very passionate about today, um, even now being a faculty member back here at Texas A&M. After I completed my PhD, I actually took a job in Huntsville, Texas at a small university known as Sam Houston State University. You know, to be honest, I had originally thought that Sam Houston State was where I wanted to be. And then um, February of 2016 happened, and sorry, we received some devastating news that Dr. Rick Josie Coverdale had passed away. And it was really hard for all of us. Um, it was something that still we continue to work through today but I really felt it to be an honor um, to have an opportunity to come back to the university that I loved and something that I was so passionate about. And so it was really from that point on, I knew that I needed to um, continue with this opportunity and uh, come back to Texas A&M 
and be able to continue to, to develop that program that I knew so well. And so I ended up coming back here in the fall of 2016 and I've been here now for a little over a year and um, working to complete the rest of her graduate students and um, now beginning to work with my own students. I definitely have to give a lot of credit to the American Quarter Horse and the association has done an excellent job in, in really cultivating the youth and providing those opportunities for us. Um, and I think that it's great because I didn't have, I didn't come from a big ranching background. Um, they really took a chance when they awarded me that scholarship and I just hope that I've been able to contribute back to the industry that I'm so passionate about. My horse, his name is Dan Sansonita and he is a 15 year old gelding. And I must say, Danny, as I call him, is definitely my horse of a lifetime. Um, I ended up purchasing Danny after I finished my graduate program, kind of when I was in the phase of rediscovering my hobby that I was so passionate about. But this horse brings me so much joy and happiness. You know, overall, I've, I've really enjoyed competing with him and uh, being able to uh, be successful with him as well. But I surely hope Danny realizes that he has a lot longer to go with my little girl because he will definitely be having a new rider here in the next few years. I'm hoping that she will follow suit and continue with that passion of horses.